Let's start you off with football. January with Haiti as opponents is turning out to be a not so good combination for the Trinidad and Tobago senior men's football team. In 2016, the Haitians pipped Trinidad and Tobago for a playoff for one spot at the Copa America Centenario tournament. A year later, almost exact to the day, the Frenchmen are now one step closer to the CONCACAF Gold Cup than the Trinidad and Tobago team following a 4-3 win over the host team on Sunday. On the day of his 25th birthday, Shadow Winchester seemed to have finally come of age. The talented former Naparima College forward was Tom St. Fitz, hitman of choice, as he rested Akin Roach and had Cornell Glenn declared unfit to start. Winchester scored goals in the first, 25th and 112th minutes as Trinidad and Tobago knew that they needed to win by two clear goals. But every time the host team took a lead, the Haitians responded before taking leads themselves at 3-2 and then 4-3 to win it and progress to the playoff with a Central American opponent for a spot at the CONCACAF Championship. Haiti was celebrating and perhaps even the birthday boy and hat-trick hero. But one man not in a celebratory mood was the Trinidad and Tobago head coach. Um, but I had very limited time. I came here a week before the game started and I had to have a selection. So I was seeing some matches and I was counting on advice. We had no FIFA dates, so we invited, people forget that, we invited Ken, uh, Kalim Highland, we invited John William, we invited Levi Garcia, John Bostock, we Levi invited Molino, Jovin Jones, Akato Cordell, Mikhail Williams. So we invited a lot of players who were not available for several reasons not released because it's not a FIFA date or personally not ready to perform for the team. But this has consequences. If you have a lot of good players missing for such important games. St. Fitz says that even though he has failed in his first competitive task, he feels no pressure, even becoming a bit philosophical. I think my work on the pitch must tell if I have a future here. And uh, I believe I have a future here. Uh, again, knowing that we missed a lot of players, knowing that I had one week before I start my first training camp, and Leo Benaker had three months, I think in that opportunity, in, uh, in that context, I think it would be very realistic that uh, I'm here for the Panama and Mexico games. But again, inshallah, if God decides different, I can't change it. 